Okay, okay. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Josh. Are we, like, forgetting something? Don't think so. Like, is it meant to be hot and Christmas in Australia or something? No, mate, that's New Zealand. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. It's getting a bit hot, isn't it? It is. It is a bit. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is one of the most realistic games we've ever seen. But why is that? Well, developers the astronauts based all of the game's art off their intensive photo scanning of the Polish Karkonos Mountains. What this means is that every eroded rock, the depth of every lake and the curve of every road is entirely believable. Usually in games, scenery is based off a few photos and the result is an artificially created world where stains are in the wrong place and the transition from grassy plains to desert is too instant. Admittedly, these details are very minor, but our brain subconsciously picks them up and tells us the world isn't real. But in Ethan Carter, these details are correct and that's why the game looks so real. We didn't know what to compare Ethan Carter to since there aren't many games like it, so we've chosen Far Cry 4. It's another 2014 first person game with impressive graphics set in a mountainous landscape, but also a game with a much bigger budget. Nevertheless, does Ethan Carter's graphics stack up to Far Cry's or even exceed them? We'll let you decide. Swapping realism for some more stylized visuals, the unique comic book inspired art in Valiant Hearts is vital to convey the game's emotional depiction of the Great War. Valiant Hearts suggests the true horrors of war are not in its bloodiness or death count, but the stories of those unwillingly thrust into it and their fight to reunite with the loved ones they were torn from. The simplicity of the game's visuals plays into this by concealing the goriness of the war and instead crisply delivering the emotion of the characters. It is amazing how even the most subtle grimaces on the faces of the cartoony and eyeless characters can make the player feel such anguish. War may elicit thoughts of territories, nations, weapons and fighting, but Valiant Hearts and its cleverly conceived art demonstrate that war really boils down to the people caught in it and their lives. Hopefully we'll see a more considered implementation of art as done in Valiant Hearts, and more realistic worlds like the ones in Ethan Carter. Essentially, games with R that not only look good, but are smart. We'll have to leave it there for day three of our eight days of Christmas, but we'll be back tomorrow for the best indie game narratives of 2014. See you then. It's getting a bit hot, isn't it? It is a bit. Thank God.